Okay, so let me show here. This is supposed mm, to be here. Stranger Things. Yeah. Yes. Have you watched this uh, last season? Yeah, yeah, watch it. I love it. Yeah. It's nice, right? I think it's one of my favorite seasons, the third one. Yeah. <laughs> it's very dark, very gore. Yeah, at the end was a glory. little bit. Yeah, mm. at the end was a little bit sad, I could say. <laughs> Yeah, because, why? Why do you think it was uh, that? Because of the... I forgot his name, the, ah, the guy. the police officer. Yeah, the police oh officer. My God, I always forget. Uh, Stranger Things Police Police Chief. Um, Jim Hopper. Yeah, Hopper. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> he died, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's and, a uh, mystery. <laughs> the, yeah, the Eleven start to cry and it was a little... Yeah. Yeah. Very, very sad. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Very sad. Let's see, because there will be a, another season, right? Yeah, Let's maybe he will we'll discover that he's alive. I don't know. Maybe. In, yeah, in many things can happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Pedro, so let's see what you did for, what you prepared for today. So, grammar topic. Uh, you studied past ability and past possibility, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we will talk about that. Pronunciation, b and p consonants. So the pair, b and p. Okay. And then the usual podcasts, right? Um, yeah. It's English at work. Six minute English. All ears English. That talk. Well, when you nice. Yeah. So let's get started. Uh, let's talk about grammar first. So, uh, it's about uh, past ability and possibility. Uh -huh. So uh, they said here that in, in the present tense we use can to talk about uh, general ability for example yeah. I can swim mm -hmm. and in the past to talk about uh, general ability we can use for example we use that when we uh, for example something that you you learned we can do any time something that we learn in we can do any time uh -huh. We want. We don't uh -huh. have any problem to do that. For example, uh -huh. he could speak fluent French when he was five. Yeah. So around that age, he had that ability. Yeah. In, it it doesn't necessarily mean it has this ability now. Yeah. But he did when he was yeah. five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the other example here, I could read before I started school. Okay. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's is... something that mm -hmm. he is able to do was used used to be able to do when he was at school for example yeah but in this case he still does right he he could already read yeah. before school started but he can read now so this yeah, is something and that something continues he can do anytime with anytime. any kind of problem nice uh, okay uh, ability on one occasion uh -huh. uh, we they said here that we can't use could uh, in this case and mm -hmm. we have to use was able to or managed to mm -hmm, and it's something that uh, we can or can't do in one particular situation mm -hmm. so for example the burglar was able to get in through the bathroom window mm -hmm. or the burglar managed to get in through the bathroom window Mm -hmm. So it's something that the burger was able to do in, in that occasion. He was able to... At a specific it. time. Yeah, at a specific yeah. time. Yeah. So here, there is a contrast between general ability and ability on one single occasion, right? Yeah. So for general ability, we use could, but for yeah. ability on one specific occasion, we cannot use could, right? Yeah. Because it's used, it's used with a generic situations yes. so for spe specific situations like you said we use be able to like was able to in the past and managed to nice yeah mm -hmm. and ability in one occasion in negative situation uh -huh. uh, and they said it's something uh, that person wasn't uh, possible wasn't mm -hmm. possible or the person wasn't able to do and mm -hmm. in this case we can use wasn't or weren't able to, didn't manage to, or couldn't. Mm. For example, 
the burglar wasn't able to get in through the window. Mm -hmm. Or the burglar couldn't get in through the window. Yeah, here we, so we in the, read... In negative, yeah. we can use couldn't. Right? Yes. Here, Pedro, we say get in, get in, pause, through the window. Because through the window is a block, and get in is another block. Okay? Right. Just to, the way to read this. So, get the bur the yes, the burglar couldn't get in through the window. Okay? okay? Okay. So, yeah, exactly. So, we use could with general ability. And when we are talking about a specific occasion, we cannot use it in the affirmative yeah. form, but we can use it in the negative form. Yeah. Along with wasn't able to, weren't able to, and didn't manage to. Okay. Yeah. All right. And hypothetical past ability. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes things were possible in the past, but didn't happen. Mm -hmm. For example, I could have gone to university, but I decided to get a job. Mm -hmm. Or I would have been able to win the race, but I fell over. So yes. it's something that would be possible, but... Would have for example, been possible. We, yeah. Uh, it, it, we decide not to do, for example, mm -hmm. or didn't happen. Mm -hmm. uh, so the structure is... What is the structure? To show oh, okay, that. Yeah, yeah. To uh, talk about something that was possible, possible yes. or would have been able to. For yeah. Example. So it's to talk about something that could have happened or yeah. would have happened. Yeah. But didn't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's one more example here. I couldn't have done it without your help or mm -hmm. I wouldn't have been able to afford afford it even if it had been for sale. Nice, excellent. Okay, so these structures, they seem difficult, but for you at this point, how do you feel? Do you think it's confusing or uh, is, it, is it getting it's clearer? Becoming, it's becoming normal, I think. Nice, nice. Well, in the past, it used to be more difficult, but now uh -huh. I think it's becoming normal. I nice, can yeah. hear a lot in podcasts, for example. Uh -huh. You recognize these structures when you yeah. listen to podcasts. Yeah, this is nice. It means you're becoming more and more familiarized with the structures like this. Yeah. Because when we stop to think about it, it's not difficult per se, right? The structure itself is easy. Yeah. But we don't have, but, but it's sometimes it's very different from Portuguese. So the matter with familiar, familiarity uh, is very important. And yeah. what's happening with you is that you are becoming more and more familiarized with them. Yeah. So very yeah. nice. What about the exercises? Did you have any problems? Yeah, uh, just in, I think was in the, the third one. I had a chance to steal the necklace, but I didn't. Mm -hmm. The exactly. correct answer is I could have stolen or couldn't could have stolen the necklace, but I didn't. But the other was okay. I didn't have. Could have. So what did you put here? I think I. I think I forgot the. the One of the one. verbs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, because here we need at least three verbs, right? Yeah. In this case, it's a lot. Would have been able to win. Yeah. It's a very long structure. Yeah. And here we have could have gone. So you need to remember all the words. It takes practice. Okay? Yeah. Nice. So you put another link here. Did you take a look at this perfect English yeah, grammar? It's a, mm -hmm. it's a I very think good it's site. Not exactly the same thing, but she explained a little bit about uh, can and can't for general and specific ability oh, in nice. the past. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the other structures is not the same. For example, which, which future we did, I didn't ah, see. Ah, future, future. Yeah. Yeah, because here she's talking about everything, right? The present, yeah. the past, and the future. Yeah. You focused here on the past. Yeah. On this. Exactly. Yeah. So this part is the same, right? Does she say anything yeah, different? Yeah. There's something, ex some examples. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Just can, you, can you read the, for me the examples, please, Pedro? All of them here. Just a second. Let me open. Yes, open uh, on your computer. Yeah. 
I could read. I could read when I was four. I could read. Read, right? Yeah, okay. Yes, I could read. She could speak French when she was a child, but now she has forgotten it. Okay. He couldn't dance at at all until he took lessons. Uh -huh. My grandfather couldn't swim. All right. When the computer crashed mm -hmm. yesterday, I was able to fix it. Mm -hmm. She was able to pass the exam, even though she hadn't studied much. He called us because he couldn't find the house. Mm -hmm. I couldn't open the window. That's exactly what I saw on the other side. We can use could in the negative form, but yeah. we cannot use could in the affirmative form yeah. for a specific ability. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, something that... Have could okay. have happened and didn't, right? So go ahead. Okay. Uh, I could have played the piano well, but I didn't practice enough. Okay. We could have come earlier. She could have studied law, but she preferred to become a secretary. Okay. So an idea, a topic for a, a, a class in the future is the future, right? Yeah. So how to use um, modal verbs of ability to refer to the future, okay? Yeah. Okay. Nice. All right, so pronunciation now, uh, you used Rachel's English, and she's talking about the P, B consonants, yeah. voiced, right, and unvoiced, voiced B and unvoiced B. What did she say? So she said, for example, that P is unvoiced, mm -hmm. only air passed through your, our mouth. Yes. And B is voiced, a sound mm -hmm. if our whole vocal cords. B. Uh -huh. And she said that's the same mouth position, it's the, the same it maybe is. seeing her, the, just the movement of the mouth can be confused. So we have really have to pay attention in the sound. Uh, and yeah. she said these are stop consonant. She said it's, a, it's because of we stop the, the airflow and there is a release, as she said. Mm -hmm. uh, Excellent. A release of air. I'm going up later, for example. Up later. Yeah. Ah, yes, a release, yeah. Up mm -hmm. later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because uh, we don't have that in Portuguese, so we should pay attention, right? Observing. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. uh, and there are some examples at uh, mm -hmm. pad and bad, pot and bot, for example. Yes. Uh, had bad. Okay. An example sentence, uh, pick a big print for the bad spread. Yes, mm -hmm. pick, a big, uh, pick a big print for the bad spread. This phrase, it's, there is not a, there is not a, a, a sense, I think I try to understand. I, I ah, okay, just... you don't understand what it means. Yeah. Okay. Pick a pick, big print. Uh, what does pick spread? mean here? Uh, what is a synonym for pick? Do you know? Get. Choose, choose, okay. okay. A big print. So a big print is a big pattern, a big... Ah, okay. I don't know if you know what a pattern is, but... Yeah, um, my God. In uh, Portuguese would be my stampa. Yes, exactly. It's hard to find here, <laughs> but exactly that. So pick a big one for the... Bad spread, which is something that covers the bed. Yeah. This. Okay? okay? So this is what it means. Pick a big print for the bed spread. What about this one here? Okay, you mentioned before, right? The, that's yeah. about the release I'm of air. Up later. I'm going up later. Up later. Yes. Nice. Very good. But Any comments? Anything else you want to say about this? No, okay. Let's see. Okay. So let's see now the texts, the articles. First one, um, BBC, Learning English. You can start talking about it. I'll just open the other ones. So this is episode 39, I Stepped Too Far, Disciplining a Member of Staff. <laughs> okay. So this episode is about Rachel mistakes again. She, uh -huh. She's making a lot of mistakes uh -huh. bring a lot of problem to the to the company mm -hmm. uh, and Anna is not happy about about that uh, and one more time uh, be, uh, 
Ana tries to talk to Paul about it, to try to call uh, Rachel's attention. Mm -hmm. And again, Paul is not able to give Rachel a warning, like, like as they said. Mm -hmm. And he says to Ana to do that. Ana has to, to talk with Rachel. And for that, she used the phrase from the program, for example. Mm -hmm. Let me hear you. You've made some serious mistakes. You need to consult consult me before you contact any of our cli clients. Mm -hmm. And these mistakes cannot happen again. Otherwise, I will have to refer the matter to someone higher. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah. <laughs> Hannah used this phrase to to give Rachel a warning. Uh -huh. And seems that Rachel doesn't want to pay so much attention. And Hannah, she make some jokes because Anna is a short person. Oh, so she's yeah. disrespectful. Yeah, disrespectful. Disrespectful. So yeah. she, Rachel, again, is a new recruit Yeah. at a, a Tip Top Trading yeah. and she's been making some bad business decisions. Yeah. yeah. Right? So she has become a problem there. Yeah. Uh, all right, so tell me what happens. Can you tell me more details about what uh, happens in your dips? At the end, uh, Tom, Anna, Paul, and Denise, they discover who was stolen the pens of the company. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they... So who stole all the pens? Rachel. Rachel. Her bag open in front of all of them, uh -huh. and the pens uh -huh. fell out of her bag. Uh -huh. And now we have to wait for the next episode to discover what will happen. I think Paul... After that, he calls her attention. He's, he he says to Rachel to 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 go to his office. Mm -hmm. go to his office. I think he she she is in a trouble. She has she will have uh, serious problems because of that. And does Rachel say why she's been stealing all the? No, pets? no. The the episode. Finished, finished there with the, yeah. the revelation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because they needed to record their conversations by keeping notes, but they can't yeah. find the pants. Yeah. Right? Exactly. They seem to be losing all the pants. So they are starting yeah. to use pencils. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they also say that Rachel has been spoiling all the work they've been doing. Do you understand the word spoil? It's a good word. Yeah, I mean, we use it a, a lot about related with movies, right? There is something related. Ah, to that. yes, yes, yes. That's a connection. What happens when you're very excited to watch a movie, and then I tell you everything, including the ending? <laughs> I'll be really angry mad, pissed, right? Yeah, yeah. Because I have ruined the movie for you. Uh, yeah, the expectation. See, the expectation. Uh, spoil, I don't know how to explain this, but spoil is estragar mesmo. Yeah. Okay? So, é estragar. So, it's used okay. in different ways. Uh, spoilers uh, refer okay. to something that ruined the experience for someone. We can also say, I spoiled child. I spoiled child is a child who has no limits, who yeah. has uh, hasn't received... <laughs> It, you know, good education and things like that. So here, Rachel has been spoiling all the work Anna has been doing. She's yeah. she has been ruining her work. And well, she and she she doesn't matter with that. She she doesn't care. Just, yeah, she just she wants to do her way, and she doesn't care about the others. The other people, right? She's disrespectful. Yeah. She's uh, yeah, she's. And here there is another expression. She really is messing things up. Okay, messing so something related to to uh, mess up. It's related to spoil. You know the verb spoil. To mess something up is similar to spoil. Yeah. It's not exactly the same, but mess up means to change things so much that things stop working. Yeah. You know, so to create a confusion, to create a mess, yeah. to uh, things, you know, to create disorder. Yeah, okay, yeah. So similar. Okay. Um, Pedro, anything else? Any other new words? No, I think it's okay. 
Yeah. Uh, they're talking a lot about biscuits here. Yeah, <laughs> Paul is... loves biscuit. <laughs> okay, shortbread biscuits. Uh, what else? Yeah, it's okay. Just, the phrases it's... they use. All right. Yeah. yeah. So let's see what will happen next episode. Nice. Yeah. So let's move on to the next one, which is uh, six minute English. And the art of tipping. What is what does tipping mean? And what does it uh, involve? Tipping is, <laughs> tipping is giving money for radar, uh, tax drivers, and, and other drivers. Uh, extra money. Maybe, yeah, besides. yeah, extra money. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, uh, as they said, tipping in, at a restaurant uh, can bring some doubts, some some things that we can pay attention. Mm -hmm. For example, there are some restaurants that the extra money uh, we can see uh, directly on the bill, for example. Mm -hmm. we can, in, in, here in Brazil, we have almost, I think, almost restaurants and pubs. I think we, we can see that on the bill, It's the 10% per, of the, uh -huh. the, the bill. Uh, And they they make a, a question here. When we leave a tip, should be a cash or a card? I think in Brazil it's we, as I said, as I told you, we we can see directly on the bill, and no matters how much you, uh, how way you pay. Or with cash. How you pay for? I don't yeah. know what they mean by card because a cash tip means to pay the tip. With money, like yeah. the right uh, cash. Yeah. But what do they mean by card here? Is it a credit card, debit card? I think it's, I think it's credit card. I think. Do you prefer to pay a fixed service charge, or do you think the whole thing is unnecessary? Okay, so let's see what they talk about here first, and then I want your opinion on this. Okay. Okay. There is another question here. What is the biggest tip? that we know somebody gave. Know the, the answer is letter C. Three. Oh my goodness, $3 mm. million? Dollars. Yeah. They didn't more. explain when happened, but <gasps> the answer is that. Yeah. Uh, maybe okay. it's a billionaire in the world. Yeah, maybe no, that's for sure, right? Because <laughs> only a, a billionaire would be able to give this as a tip. My goodness, that's unbelievable. Yeah. Biggest tip ever. Okay. Pedro, so what do they say? Let's see what the specialists say first. Uh, William Beckett. What ah, does he say? William Beckett talked about, I think he has three restaurants uh -huh. and in different cities, like London, mm -hmm. Manchester, and New York it would be a, mm -hmm. a new one. Mm -hmm. And I think, in, for example, I think in, in London it's, it's normal. The the people uh, it's normal the the bill has the 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 tipping there it's normal but in Manchester it's not normal for example in New York in New York he didn't say it's if it's normal or not because mm -hmm. he's going to open a, a new restaurant there and he will discover later uh -huh. yeah he He just talked about that, uh, the difference in to place, place to place. It's a cultural difference. Yeah. Cultural, cultural. right? Because London is in England, Manchester is in uh, in England, and New York in the US. So yeah. he's talking about the differences in the cultural differences. Yeah, exactly. Right? Because they have, the cities have different attitudes. Yeah, and for example, to uh, there are tips of. 20% of the bill, 10%, and it's it's, uh, it's different to place to place. The amount. Uh, yeah, I mean the yeah. amount. Yeah. Okay, here he talks about that. Yeah. So, exactly the same. What is, well, there is a tacit pressure to tip. We're going to talk yeah. about the vocabulary. What does tacit mean? Let's talk about it now. Tacit. Uh, it's something I could say. It's something included. I I don't know how to say. It. Yeah, it's not spoken. Yeah. 
not written, but it's understood. Yeah. Is so people something? don't mention it. Yeah, uh, but people see on the bill there is the 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 tip there, but we don't talk about maybe we just accept. I could say that. Yeah, I think it's not on the on the bill. The tip is not on the bill. Do you understand? It's not written anywhere. So tacit means yeah, it's, 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 it's cultural. It's, it's expected. Yeah. It's expected that you pay because your friends do that, your family, everybody you you know do that. Every you know everyone does yeah. that. So you do that too. So it's something expected, but nobody talks about it. Yeah. Because theoretically, you could just stand up and walk out. Yeah. Theoretically, but there is a pressure. It's a yeah. tip, right? Yeah. You don't. People like that. And the uh, tips, you don't, everybody. So you don't, you don't do that. You don't stand up and walk out. Everybody tips 20%, which is a lot. Yeah. And, or there is a theory of an option, a theory of an option. There is mm -hmm. no option. Yeah. Tacitly. So do you understand this word tacitly? Yeah. Understand. What is expected? Yeah. Okay, it's, and it's not obvious. Yeah. And theoretically it means <laughs> yeah, in theory, <laughs> right? It's not yeah. um in practice, it's different from practice. So yeah. It describes something that can be done, but probably won't be. Yeah. So we use we use this word in this situation. Uh, what else? Yeah, I think it's it's uh, yeah. I think there is no more things here. They, they, they don't explain this tip here. Three million dollars. I tried to find something here on the. I googled it, but I couldn't find it. So just going over the vocabulary once more here. Uh, so the, uh, <laughs> this uh, IE. It's ah, okay. a, I can I... see a lot in books. Yeah. Or in... Yeah. News, news. So what does it mean? Uh, it's something that, as they said, means in other words, in other words. Yeah, what is the origin? Uh, Latin phrase. Latin, Latin. Latin. it's Latin a Latin phrase. phrase. Latin. And the Latin phrase is id est. Id est. Id est. So we yeah. get the first letters, I, E, and it ad, uh, id est means that is, that is, yeah. in other words, yeah. or what I mean is. So, yeah. uh, we use it mostly in written language, but yeah. sometimes people use it in... They used it here, right? Yeah, uh, here. Guy, yeah. Like I said, it is cultural. Yeah, it is cultural. I.e., it differs from mm -hmm. place to, to place. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, the verb to differ, because we know the adjective different. Yeah. We use this a lot. But differ to differ is a verb that can be used too, right? Yeah. Very nice. Norm is something uh, that is similar to our Portuguese word, yeah. but uh, it's interesting to see how it's used. Test it theoretically. Yeah. Or anything else, Pedro? Any other word? No, no, it's okay. There, uh, what do you think? So here in Brazil. Is it, ah, do we have a tacit it, uh, expectation yes, tacit. or? Uh, I think here it's tacit, I think. Mm -hmm. Almost all the restaurants, pubs, bars, we, ha we have to pay, we have. Yeah, but we, we have, have to, to pay, pay because that. it's included in the bill. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, it's not tacit, is it? Is it... Uh, to, to not to pay that, it's uh, maybe it's... It doesn't boring. look good. Yeah, it doesn't look good. It's boring. To, yeah, I don't have to pay that. I don't want to pay, but everybody pays that. Uh-huh, and then you do it too. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, it's expected. Yeah. It's the norm here, right? Yeah. But here they're talking about restaurants and cafes. They yeah. also talk about taxis. So is what about the taxis here? No, here. Uh, by the way, in Uber uh -huh. nowadays, we we have the option to pay a, a, a tip, tip uh -huh. but it's not. I think it's not norm. A norm, not it's a norm. Not a norm as in restaurant. It's really uh -huh. different. it's different. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So let's see another one. Let's see. All ears English now. So what a nightmare. How to support someone when they complain? <laughs> mm -hmm. And people, some people complain a lot. I think we, in general, tend to complain a lot, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, by the way, this word, for example, listen podcast, we can mm -hmm. hear a lot this word complain, complain. Why? Why do? What do you mean? I know I, when I'm listening podcast, uh, huh? pay attention in the podcast, huh? we can see the. People using a lot this word. I don't know oh, why. Complain. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and they made a question here. Do you wonder what to say when somebody shares a bad experience in English? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> even in Portuguese, it's, it's, uh, it's a confused situation. How yeah. to say in bad experience? To, how to say to oh, somebody? What to say? What to, what say, to right? say? I don't uh -huh. know. As they said, we want to offer supporting feedback, but we have to choose the words to say that. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, so. Ah, and they said here, <laughs> nightmare as a bad dream tends to per uh. pretend to bad dreams, particularly when we are a, a kid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kids are more scared about nightmare, I think. I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, because you, have, you can say, I had a bad dream. Or I had a nightmare. So what they're saying is that children tend to use nightmare more often. Yeah. Is that it? A I nightmare don't... in related to bad dreams, I think. Uh -huh, yeah. Ah, okay, okay. They said as an adult, we use nightmares related, ah. to, for example, bad situations, as mm -hmm. bad traffic, or some bad thing, or something bad in life. Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, here. That trip was a nightmare. We paid a ton of money and didn't even enjoy ourselves. So mm -hmm. the nightmare here is related to the bad the bad trip. Yes. So mm -hmm. uh, Ah, okay, okay. So and they said this this expression, what a nightmare, for example, shows people that you are empathetic with the mm -hmm. situation. Mm -hmm. Uh, and there are different ways to use different uh, phrase, different expressions. Uh -huh. For example, what a mess, or what a mess. oh, that's terrible, or uh, what a disaster. Ah, what a disaster. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, I don't know if we, mm, for example, in uh, at job, we would use that this, this expression, for example, at work. What a nightmare. I don't know. Maybe we use different expressions. Yeah, I, I know that maybe it's... A, mm -hmm. we, we can use this expression, what a nightmare, with people that we know for a long time. I don't know. They I didn't say that, but I, 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 I think that. Yeah, I, wait, so I think it's similar to the way we use it in Portuguese. We, we do use this word in Portuguese to talk about bad experiences. Yeah. And um, here they show some collocations. So it can be used in this way, like a nightmare commute. Mm -hmm. What is, what, what uh, can you think of what it means, a nightmare commute? Can you think of bad things? Uh, that maybe happen? when we, I don't know, maybe when we make a bad decision. Yeah, but what is a commute? Do you, do you know what a commute is? Uh, Caminhada in Portuguese, in Portuguese right? Uh, no, not, not caminhada. No, not that. A commute no. is the trip, the journey from your house to work. Okay. And from work back to your house. This is. Okay. It doesn't matter if you're walking, if you're taking the train, the subway, driving, doesn't matter how. The commute is this movement, this journey from your house to your job. This is the commute. So what... Uh, can you give me examples of a nightmare commute? <laughs> Maybe an an accident. Accident, uh, heavy traffic, delays. Oh, maybe uh, rain a lot. I don't know. Yes, it could be. There could be a storm. Uh, yeah. Maybe the traffic lights are not working, and yes. I don't know. People are honking, making noise. Yeah. <laughs> 
all kinds yeah. of stuff, right? So yeah, this right. would be a nightmare commute. And we can also say a nightmare breakup. It's what is a breakup? The same thing. Break, a breakup, I think, is when we end a relation, right? End a relationship, exactly. So what can... Can, can you... Uh, give examples of uh, signs uh, maybe of when they break up. When they break up, but they there's a maybe they don't uh, agree with that. Maybe yes, they fight a lot. Yeah. They can even uh, attack each other verbally or physically. Yeah, uh, there could be revenge. Yeah, uh, you know all sort of bad feelings. Yeah, this is a nightmare breakup. <laughs> We don't want that, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we can use nightmare with these kind of situations. Yeah. Uh, a nightmare. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just try to find quickly here. Nightmare. Maybe a, a nightmare death. Death. Nightmare. Yeah, a nightmare. The the test was a nightmare. Could be. Nightmare challenge. I don't know. The challenge was a nightmare. Yeah, because it means a disaster. So if you can use. The game oh, was here. a nightmare, for example. Yeah. Let's see some phrases. So, a night, mm, a nightmare scenario. For example, the nightmare scenario of mass unemployment. Yeah. This is a nightmare scenario, like a possibility. Yeah. Uh, the writer evokes a nightmare vision of a future on a polluted planet. So, and remember to use uh, this too. News. Let's see if we can find something interesting. Very quickly here on the news. Your nightmare, living in a nightmare. Trump is the nightmare <laughs> <laughs> from which we can't wake up. Living in a nightmare. So this is a phrase that we can also actually, this is repeated. A new breed of nightmare. Yeah. Silent nightmare, you know, Italian nightmare. Yeah, but these are some ways to use it. Okay. Okay. Yes. Anything else, Pedro? No. Okay, that's it. Okay. Uh, yeah, but I think you can say, oh, that that match, that soccer match, was a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> right. Or yeah. can use it in any way you want, actually. Okay, TED Talks, how to tame your wandering mind. Nice. Yeah. Amishi, so, ja. Amishi mm -hmm. ja. I don't know where she's from. Mm -hmm. Maybe mm -hmm. in Pakistan, I think. Pakistan could be, could be. Yeah. So, she said that the, the statement that human beings only use 10% of their brain mm -hmm. capacity. She mm -hmm. said it's, a, it's really false. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's a different perspective. I think. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. Okay. Maybe we would be able to. Uh, we'd be able to use more uh, of uh, our brain. As she, as she says, we use one hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> Above brain capacity. It's a, uh -huh. uh, it's a different perspective. Way to see it. Okay. Yeah. And she said uh, the brain is highly efficient. And energy demanding, yeah, I think it's really, it's it's uh, it's that it happens. I think because when we are using our mind a lot, when we are uh, wondering about something, we our we feel very tired. I think, mm -hmm. and so it's uh, our brain is very energy demanding <laughs> organ. Yes, she said. Uh, so, and she talked uh, a little bit about our brain's attention system. Uh -huh. <clears throat> she she said that wherever attention goes, the rest of our brain follows. Okay. So, <laughs> when we are paying attention, our brain tries to focus on that. Uh -huh. uh, ah, and she talked about an example of a a marine captain, the captain Jeff Davis, he came back from Iraqi, Iraqi, right? I Iraq. Iraq, right? Iraq. <laughs> uh, and he was stopping on a bridge in Florida, I think, because he, he's, 
saw a lot of bad things on Iraq. Uh, during the saw, war. Mm -hmm. Yeah, during the war, people die. Mm -hmm. And because of that, he brain. It was a nightmare, right? Yeah, it was a. Wars, wars are a nightmare. Yeah, exactly. And he was stopping on a bridge. I think he was uh, thinking about to kill himself, I think. Mm -hmm. And someone helped him with that, try to um, uh, recover his his brain, I could say, I think. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know, but bring him back to... Give him a treatment to okay. his problem. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, she said about a lot of experiments she make in a laboratory uh, related to, to our attention, to, it's in, uh, related to brainwave recordings, as she okay. said. Uh, she put people to do some experiments, for example, uh, press a button when we see uh, a woman or when we see a man. Uh -huh. Related, it's real to see the attention when, for ah, example, okay. when we see a man, we press the left button, mm -hmm. or when you're a, a girl, you push the right button. Okay, so just to see the how our brains is affected with the the perception, uh, yeah, uh, when we are paying attention with something, she wants to discover to how. Our brain works in okay. the situation. Okay. And what are the conclusions? Actually, she talks a lot. This is a long one. Yeah, it's a long one. Almost 10 minutes. Yeah. And so she gives a lot of other examples of uh, experiments. Yeah, there's a lot of examples with the guys from Becoming from the War. Uh huh, okay. There was a. Stress disorders, right? Yeah, uh -huh. there's a. It's not an experiment, it's a. Treatment. There is a treatment to mm -hmm. these these guys from uh -huh. war. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, yes, she's talking about the internal distraction, our own mind wandering, also mm -hmm. shrinks the gap of attention. So mm -hmm. this kind of situation has, uh, diminishes attention's power. Just diminishes is related to decrease, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, so, and she said, in this guy's situation, uh, under stress, we fast forward the mind. I don't know what she wants to... Ah, so she's connecting stress with wandering. Yeah. So, with distraction. When we are stressed, yeah. we try to get distracted. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and she said that mindfulness is not just a concept. We have to practice it a lot. It's related... To it's similar to our muscles. We have to to practice. We practicing our mindfulness, reading books, maybe for example. I think reading books, reading interest things. No, wait a moment. Uh, what is are these tips to focus? No, no. I, I'm, what, what I'm is this? saying that. I'm saying that. Ah, okay. <laughs> reading books, these things. I think he, it's kind of things to practice our mindfulness, reading re good books, reading, watching uh -huh. good documentaries, for example, I think we can practice our mindfulness or maybe yoga, uh -huh. Yo yoga, yoga, it's a, yoga. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a good way to practice our mindfulness, mm -hmm. the control, the control of our mind, I, uh -huh. uh, the, how, how is the word, <laughs> it's not exact yoga, it's a, Meditation. Meditation, yeah. Meditation, Meditation. yes, yes. Yeah. 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 We don't control our minds, but we release we control. It's the opposite of controlling. Meditation is when you release control. You yeah, we watch, can. you observe the thoughts, because the thoughts are impossible to be stopped. Yeah. Just let them flow and just observe them and just that and try to quiet your mind. So this yeah, is yeah. kind of... Uh -huh. As she said, we if we don't practice the mindfulness, we don't benefit with that. But uh -huh. the more we do, the more we benefit. So it's yeah. really important to be. be yeah, just, just like anything else. 
Um, it's a word that people are using a lot, I think. Yes, mindset. yes, these days. The positive uh, mindset. Yes. <laughs> Uh, it's something that, like anything else, it needs practice to be to become stronger. It's just like okay. practicing English, learning English. In the beginning, it's like a muscle that is flaccid and weak, but yeah. with practice, it becomes stronger and stronger. Mindfulness is the same. Meditation is the same. It's yeah, exactly. Very hard in the beginning, but it get, it gets stronger with practice. Yeah, and she uh, so said at the end here. Uh, pay attention to your to your attention. Mm. Maybe uh, with meditation we can focus just one thing. It's maybe it's good to our attention. One thing I at a know. time. Yeah, one thing yeah. at a time. Yeah. Because multitasking is not a very good idea, also because our minds can't focus on many yeah, things. In our mind, time. as I told you in the beginning, mm -hmm. our brain is an energy demanding organ, so. Yes. Uh, think about a lot of things in the same time mm -hmm. we'll be tired a lot or my yeah. exhausted our body. Yeah, exhausted. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Excellent. Very nice. Very good talk and a very good job, Pedro. Because yes. it's a long talk, but you were able to explain everything, use the new words. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Do you want to talk about uh, anything else here? New words? Yeah, or? there are some new words. Tame is a new word for me. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, what does it mean one, to, tame, to tame? Doma, doma. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Uh -huh. uh, wondering, wondering is different from wondering. Yeah. Wonder is, I found here, is perambulando. Yeah, perambular, that. perambular, saying the yeah. objetivo, né? Uh, mm -hmm. Devised, devised. Yeah. And glim, glimpse, glimpse. Glimpse? Glimpse. Glimpse. Yeah. What is a glimpse? Vislumbre. Vislumbre, uh -huh. okay. E o outro, qual que você falou? A palavra? Devised. 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 What, what does it mean to devise something? Concebido. Conceber algo. Uh -huh. Conceber. You can devise a plan, devise a... An idea. An idea. Mm -hmm. Very good. These are cool words. Yes. Yeah. Very nice. We have two minutes for... I think it's there. Uh, <laughs> Do you prefer to leave it for next class? Or? I think yeah, I will have time. It's a okay. short one. Okay. Yeah. Amazon expands in the transportation industry. Yeah, so Amazon is expanding investment in transportation and has some alliance to make it. For example, Ford and Volkswagen. It's a, mm -hmm. So, but there are some companies that could be affected be, uh, because of that, as Uber, for example. Oh. Yeah. How how uh, can it be affected? Uh, maybe it's because uh, Uber, I think Uber is investing in different kinds of transportation, I think. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And Amazon would be a... Competitor. Competitor, yes. Yeah, a exactly. strong one. <laughs> a strong one. Uh, <laughs> and for example, Amazon wants to put uh, Alexa inside mm -hmm. the cars to permit mm -hmm. uh, drivers to order products from their cars. Uh -huh. yeah, I think it's strange, I don't know. Yes. <laughs> Why we don't do that uh, on a smartphone or a desktop? I think. Yeah. I yeah. Uh, I don't know. And the company is working on two projects with car makers, as I told you, Ford mm -hmm. and Volkswagen. Mm -hmm. uh, and there are other deals with General Motors, Volvo, and Honda to permit using Alexa in their cars. Uh, and Amazon is planning to invest in electric vehicles. And mm -hmm. cut the cost of transporting packages. So, yeah, I think it, Amazon just want to cost to cut the cost of transport transporting package. It's the the main it's the main thing of Amazon is the uh, send packages to the clients. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, they want to cut costs to increase profits. Yeah. What mm -hmm. does this mean, uh, Pedro? Do you know? Uh, he said Amazon is supplying home electrical charging systems for the e-tron electric sports utility vehicle. Oh, but it's e-tron electric. Yeah, this is the first time I see this term here, e-tron. At Audi, the term e-tron refers to all cars that can cover long, longer distances solely on electric power. Ah, okay. 
Oh, we, ne- we, we need to start getting used to these terms. <laughs> yeah, in the future we'll see a lot. A lot. Yeah, Newton was telling me today that there are already, they are becoming common in the US. Yeah. Electric cars, yes. And driverless cars. By the way, sh- I saw yesterday an advertisement from a, a building here in Brazil. Uh-huh. Que they will permit people to uh, reload the, the electric cars in each oh. uh, car garage. Car garage. Really? So that they're incorporating that already? Yeah, in their exactly. exactly. Plan. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? Do you think there will be I a day it's, it's in which it's... these cars will become very common, driverless yeah. cars? I think it will be important to the environment. Mm-hmm. We really have to to use that, mm-hmm. and it will become very normal. Normal mm-hmm. as the smartphones, yeah. for example, is normal nowadays. In the past, it didn't used to be. Uh-huh. The electric car will be very normal. Yeah, maybe we won't only have this kind of cars. There will be a mix of all different kinds of cars because there are so yeah. many in the world today. But yeah. I, I think they will gain space, right, and become. Yeah more popular, exactly. more and more popular. Excellent, Pedro, very nice, very good job uh, with everything, <laughs> the, the grammar topic, pronunciation topic, and all the articles you chose, very good. So that's it for today, uh, keep it up, I hope you have a good weekend, a good week, and I'll see you next time. See you. Okay? See you, bye-bye. Bye-bye.